you. In this quick video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the updated cast and dashboard navigation. Previously, the main dashboard page served as a jumping off point to access familiar cast and resources like applications and policies. But other important resources such as profiles and blueprints could only be accessed from the settings menu. Starting in version 607, we're rolling out a new sidebar for a simpler navigation experience for new and existing users alike. As you can see, the main dashboard still provides the same cluster status at a glance, applications and compliance, policies and data usage summary cards, activity metrics, and associated action history. Each card can still be used to navigate to the individual pages, but I no longer need to return to the main dashboard to move between sections of the UI. Starting with profiles, we see a number of resources have been moved out of cluster settings. I have a logical grouping of my two types of cast and profiles, location profiles for defining connections for exporting backup data, and infrastructure profiles for defining connections to certain types of primary storage to perform snapshot operations. The forms to create profiles, policies, etc. all remain the same. They're just easier to access. Blueprints moves out of settings and continues to allow us to upload and manage canister blueprints, which are used to perform application consistent backups of workloads like databases. Transform sets and our built-in examples also moves out of settings. Functionality remains the same, enabling administrators to manipulate manifest data during restore operations, which is really a critical requirement for most cloning, disaster recovery, or cross-cluster mobility use cases. Usage and reporting was previously a single combined page, accessible only from the main dashboard. The updated pages provide dedicated views for both the storage consumption related to data protection, as well as access to the built-in Cast and Grafana dashboard, and a separate page for managing and viewing cluster reports. User roles has been moved out of settings and also split into separate task-based pages. Roles providing a form-based approach to create and manage Kubernetes native roles and cluster roles. Essentially, what cast and related resources and actions can a user or group perform? And assignments for creating and managing the Kubernetes native bindings of the aforementioned roles on either a cluster-wide or per application basis. This provides a flexible and secure solution for user self-service in shared environments. Cluster settings, previously accessible from the top right of the screen, now contains only those remaining, less frequently accessed items. This includes system information, which had previously been combined with the support section. Licensing information, which remains unchanged, provides details on locally installed or cloud marketplace licenses or licenses leased from a centralized multi-cluster pool. Disaster recovery remains unchanged, as this is typically a one-time operation to enable backups of local cast and configuration and data to ensure recoverability in the event of a complete cluster loss. And Interface, previously named Dashboard, still provides access to the guided UI tour for new users and, as someone who spends a lot of time in this UI, my favorite feature, Dark Mode. Finally, access to support has been pulled from the settings menu and given a dedicated place at the bottom of the sidebar, as no one should have to hunt for those details during an emergency. Ah, but wait, there's more. If you've configured cast and multi-cluster, the new sidebar also provides direct access to all added clusters, with a dedicated, clear option for accessing the multi-cluster manager itself. From the multi-cluster manager, 
We can see that in addition to the familiar cluster summary page, global resources have now been added to the top level navigation. Again, their functions remain the same, configuring which users or groups can access which clusters, letting administrators centrally define resources a single time, such as a shared S3 bucket to store backup data from multiple clusters, and then create rules to distribute those resources across multiple clusters. And that wraps up this quick tour of the updated cast and dashboard. We hope you enjoy it. And if you've got feedback, be sure to join the conversation in the Veeam Kubernetes Corner user group. See you there.